So good Sunday morning to everybody. It is a good Sunday morning. It's a little bit cloudy, but that's going to have a very muggy uh, day as the sun comes out. That's okay. It's summer. Dog days of summer, right? So hopefully everybody can make it out uh, this morning for worship. We're in for quite a word. I just pray that uh, we have ears to hear. All that means is that, uh, that, that the anointing uh, would be there for our understanding, that we'd be listening to the Spirit as the Spirit teaches us, because we can hear the Word. It doesn't mean that we understand it to the level that the Lord wants us to, to receive it. So uh, we, we just pray that our ears are open this morning. Um, speaking of open ears, as so we uh, read through uh, Isaiah and um, some of the Psalms this morning, uh, the Psalmist <laughs> declares that God does whatever He wants. A lot of people would uh, disagree with that. Uh, they they would say that he's uh, he, he's stuck by his rules, but uh, grace proves otherwise. Yeah, he, <laughs> we would we wouldn't have salvation if that wasn't true. So anyway, uh, God does whatever He wants, and, and it's the uh, the account again of uh, Hezekiah, um, Jerusalem, the uh, and the Assyrians, and the Assyrians are at the at the door. And uh, this is uh, this is a really good example of of God does whatever He wants, and and I, I want to add to that. And whatever He wants is good, all the time. Everything God does is good. So He does whatever He wants, and it's good. He's not going to be defined by us. He's not going to be limited by us. He's going to do whatever He wants. And uh, so often in our lives, we, we are faced by situations that there looks like there's no hope, that there is no solution that we are done for. And that's what Hezekiah was facing. He was facing um, the fact that the, the army was camped at his gate. That they were there and, and the threat was real. And he had nothing. He had absolutely nothing that he could come against them with. He, he had nothing other than the walls uh, to protect his city. And uh, the Lord said to him, uh, No, no. I fight for you. I fight for my city. I will protect. I will defend. And uh, the next day they wake up and <laughs> most of the army is, is destroyed. Uh, they retreat. And, and then the Assyrian king is, is killed uh, by his own sons. Something that nobody saw coming. It looked impossible. And there it was. God does whatever he wants. And, and this, is, this has really been the theme, what we've been hammering away at uh, for the last few, uh, few days uh, through the scripture. Is that we have to get to the point of understanding how large he is, how big, how powerful, how much he loves us, how much he's occupied with us, and get to that point of trust. It's not saying that, that we're not going to face stuff, but he's our defender, he's our provider. It is, it, it, Jesus said that in this world that, that we're going to face trials. He said we're going to face difficulties. We're going to face things because we carry his name. We're going to face those things. But in those things, he is with us. In those things, we have everything that we need. Uh, we, we have everything because he is for us. He is with us. He's our defender. So, yeah, like trials have purposes. Yay for trials because uh, they increase us. They make us more if... We trust the Lord in those things. Can you imagine what the, the faith of, of the people in Jerusalem were like? <laughs> they, they had to face the, the, the siege that they were under. They had to face that. But when they were delivered from it, how much more did they understand that they were loved, that they were cared for, that they were defended? And this is where we need to get to in, in our place of faith and in, in of trust. Don't look at what you're going through. Look at the one who's walking through it with you. That's what matters. God will do whatever he wants. And what looks impossible today, tomorrow will be the norm. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, looking forward to being with everybody today. You be blessed, be encouraged. Love you guys.